Have you been thinking about moving to Waxahachie, Texas? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about everything there is to know about Waxahachie, Texas from a bird's eye view. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, glad to meet you. My name is Wendy Pinnell. I am a local real estate broker here in the Dallas area with On Track Realty. If you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Dallas or any one of its many suburbs, you know, including Waxahachie, be sure and hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell. We have been in the business since 2007, helping buyers and sellers just like you every day and we absolutely love it. We're also a family brokerage. So if you like the idea of our family helping yours, be sure and head on down to that description section and look for our Let's Find Home questionnaire. You know, you're also welcome to like call us, you can give, drop us a text, you know, send us an email. Really any one of those ways work. We're just glad to help you find home in the Dallas area. Okay, but I know I said, I was gonna tell you about Waxahachie kind of show you around town from a bird's eye view. So let's get to it. Okay, so here you can see we have Fort Worth and Dallas kind of as your big landmarks here. So you can get an idea of where Waxahachie is. So let me kind of, if that helps a little bit more, we can even scroll out more. So Waxahachie definitely down on this Southern sector uh, all along in here. Um, okay, so let me, let me give you an idea of how big Waxahachie is. All right, you can see right there, it is approximately 48 square miles. Waxahachie, now how does that compare over here to Midlothian? Well, Midlothian is 64 square miles, so Waxahachie is smaller. Interesting too, when you compare it to its neighbor is that Midlothian has 64 square miles and has 38,000. So overall still Midlothian, uh, less densely populated than Waxahachie. Uh, interesting side note also, they are both exploding in new construction, absolutely exploding. Waxahachie actually in the past 90 days had more active and sold listings than its neighbor here of Midlothian, but Midlothian is con considerably bigger. 64 square miles here, 48 square miles here. However, that being said, Waxahachie has a lot more new construction with, eight, with uh, acreage. So stick around to the end and we're gonna talk about that. So if you're interested in uh, acreage, with new construction, you're gonna find it in Waxahachie. So stick around and we're gonna talk about that here in a little bit. Anyway, there is Waxahachie and you can see again, compared to Fort Worth and Dallas, let's take a look at some commute times because I know that's important to a lot of people. A lot of people commuting is just a way of life. So let's kind of scroll in here. Let's take a look at some commute times. Okay, so we have Waxahachie again, Fort Worth and Dallas. So downtown Dallas, from Waxahachie to Dallas, we're talking about a 32 minute drive. And you're gonna go straight up I-35, okay? I-35E, just being honest, it's a bit of a heavy construction and heavy trafficked uh, highway, okay? So uh, gosh, I think really in the past 30 years, I cannot think of a time that there wasn't at least some construction project on I-35E. So just kind of know that 32 minutes is not a bad drive, but just kind of know that there's often traffic and there is often construction. Okay, how about to downtown Fort Worth? All right, let's take a look at that. Downtown Fort Worth is going to be 287 all the way. Longer drive, probably a little bit nicer highway, not as much heavy construction, uh, but longer drive, so 43 minutes. And that makes sense because, you know, again, when we, when we talked about Midlothian, we saw more of a triangle and you can see obviously that Waxahachie is closer to Dallas than this one so it's not quite as central. I always like to talk about how Midlothian is so ideal on that short commute because it has pretty good highways and it's triangular it's right in the middle so all right but Waxahachie's got plenty going for it too. Uh, AT&T Stadium we're talking about a 40 minute drive right in here so you would take 287 till you got to the 360 and you would go up there. Now, interesting fact about 360, right up in here, this part is a tollway, pretty nice, fast clip. And then this part is not a tollway, and you can tell <laughs> the minute you get on it. This is just older, more crowded, just not as nice, and then this part just moves along at a really fast clip. So anyway, so that's how you would get to the AT&T Stadium, and again, this part is a dream right in here. 
Um, so 287 up to 360 will get you there. And again, why don't we talk about the AT&T Stadium? Well, it has uh, the Dallas Cowboys football. It has the Texas Rangers uh, baseball, and it also has Six Flags over Texas. It has Hurricane Harbor. So this is just really an entertainment hub. So I always kind of like to let everybody know, hey, you know, this is how you would get there, and this is how long it would take you to get there. Uh, okay, so what is next? Let's see here now. How about the airport? If you had to travel with work, all right. You can see right there, 49 minute drive. So if you're a frequent commute, from Waxahachie to the airport, 49 minutes. If you're gonna be at the airport a lot, Waxahachie may not be, you know, the best fit for you. Okay, so what is next? Let's take a look. Ah, the Las Colinas Business Center. What type of commute are we talking about there? Well, about 40 minute drive and taking you up 35 and then over on 114. And so um, again, 35 not being the most desirable of highway, but still 40 minutes. It's not terrible, it's not atrocious. Okay, how about, ah, if you wanted to switch over to some recreation, if you're like, hey, I'll work and no play, Wendy, come on, let's talk about some recreation. And of course, we already, we already talked about the AT&T Stadium, right? But let's talk about those area lakes. Where are they? Well, Lake Waxahachie is a really neat area. Let me bring us down there and take a look at Lake Waxahachie. Really good for fishing, beautiful waters. There you go, Lake Waxahachie. We got a couple different ways you can get there too. All right, so depending on where you are in Waxahachie, you can take this route here or along through the highway, kind of depending, but Lake Waxahachie, really neat, beautiful green space there. So yeah, so it's neat that Waxahachie has its own lake. So anyways, that gives you an idea when you're talking commute times, work times, play time. Okay, Waxahachie, not, not super great on uh, the commute times, but let me tell you something that is really cool about Waxahachie. You know, we talk about that commute time and everything. Let me tell you something that I think is very cool and that I think you're gonna like, is that Waxahachie is not specifically a bedroom community, okay? So even though it's far south, and you might like that, you might like the fact that, hey, you can get acreage here. You definitely can get acreage here. Cool thing is a lot of times when you have those cities that are way off the beaten track like this, a lot of times they're bedroom communities. Midlothian, for example, far much more of a bedroom community than Waxahachie, okay? And what do I mean by that? A bedroom community is kind of like a place you go to sleep, but then you have to commute to work, right? That's okay that Midlothian is a bedroom community because it is great in terms of central location. Waxahachie, we just saw that those commutes are not fantastic, but the cool thing is, let me let me kind of show you this. It has some awesome big employment. Okay, this right here is the Walgreens Distribution Center. Scroll in in here and give you a look. Okay, so huge employment here, Walgreens Distribution Center. Also, this is Owens Corning. Okay, so these are both tremendous places that hold so many jobs. Um, and then also, this is kind of an exciting development, Blue Star Land, which is associated with Jerry Jones, just bar out a huge parcel here. They're gonna be making commercial, industrious, industrial, and residential urban. Um, right in here. So that's the neat thing that I really like about Waxahachie is even though it is off the beaten path and the commute times are not fabulous and neither are the highways, uh, it still can hold its own. So you could literally just move to Waxahachie and not have to worry about commutes, right? Because you could have your jobs right here. Uh, you know, let me show you another one. Uh, the Baylor Scott and White Hospital is also going to provide a lot of jobs. So do a degree, Waxahachie is off the beaten path. It is not the greatest commutes, but it is actually quite self-sustaining, offering a lot of jobs right within its community. Okay, so that is a really neat feature I really like about Waxahachie. Okay, so have I got you sold on Waxahachie yet with all those cool jobs? Let me show, let's walk through just a few statistics on Waxahachie to give you just a little bit more information. Uh, here we have again, here's our Waxahachie, population 40,000, right? And so we talked about how it is actually more populated than Midlothian, even though Midlothian has a much bigger area. So population 40,000, uh, it's in Ellis County, uh, let's see here now, land area, 48.8 square miles, right? Smaller than Midlothian, even though it is more populated. But still, if you were to compare that to some other cities, you're still, you know, density-wise, it still has plenty of room to spread out in. All right, growth rate. 
well, right around three and a half percent, right? 3.47 percent here. Um, interestingly enough, Midlothian over here on this side really has, I guess, the reward, you know, the award for the highest rate of growth because right now it's growing annually at well over six percent. Um, Waxahachie is growing more at a clip kind of like Mansfield. They're similar there in that three and a half percent type of range. Uh, and then you have places like Arlington that are growing at like 0.18 percent, right? So three and a half percent is a pretty good clip. And I'm going to show you in a little bit, you know, when we talk about new construction, you're going to see why it's growing so much. All right, let's see here now. Ah, growth since 2010, 37 percent. Population then was 29,000 and some change. All right, average household income in Waxahachie is 80,000. Uh, you know, and we've seen that vary. We saw that Mansfield was quite a bit higher than that. Um, Arlington was a little bit lower. Um, but 80,000, your average income and home ownership rate, 55%. Okay, so let's talk about that. Uh, when we talk about college towns, we expect uh, a lower home ownership rate because there's an element of tran transience there. Um, but in Waxahachie, this really indicates more of a presence of rentals and high density housing because there's not any real big universities here. There is a community college, uh, but there's not any giant, you know, like, um, University of Texas at Arlington, right? You're not gonna see that big to support such a low interest rate. Or for example, in Denton, you know, we did a tour of Denton and we noted that it had a real low home ownership rate, but it had two universities. So uh, home ownership rate in Waxahachie, just a little uh, touch lower and, and, and really indicative of some high density housing and investment property. So, you know, some people might not like that. Um, the reason why is that home owners tend to put down deeper roots right you tend to get to know your neighbors more and a lot of people prefer that um, okay so that gives you some idea on statistics all right let's talk about shopping what does Waxahachie have to offer in shopping well let's start off with the courthouse the courthouse is a fantastic area and also has some really neat shopping right there on the square so a lot of neat things to look at in here at the courthouse and it's very walkable also the little downtown area so you know I, I would have to right off the bat I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the shopping right there downtown right along in here okay so really neat Ellis County Courthouse and some really cool shopping right in there. Got your little shopping bag there because you've got some really cool shopping right there on the square. Uh, all right, Waxahachie Town Center. Also, let's take a look and see where that is. So you have really, you have your older shopping, but you also have some really new shopping, modern day shopping as well. So at Waxahachie definitely has both. We also have Northgate Plaza and Ferris Plaza. And really this is just to name a few. There's a lot of shopping opportunities uh, in Waxahachie, but not a giant mall. So if you're like, hey, you know, I want Highlands Mall in Arlington, where is that at? You're not gonna find that in Waxahachie. So, Plenty of your retail strip centers getting you what you need. The HEB grocery store is huge here, okay? Very popular. People love it. And honestly, um, people in the northern areas are kind of jealous because HEB is a cool little grocery store. And so uh, word has it here lately, I've seen a lot of feedback about how right up in this area, they're gonna open a new HEB. And you should hear the excitement. Everybody's like so excited because it'll be <laughs> a little closer. So definitely uh, people love having an HEB down in Waxahachie. So yep, very cool there that they've got their own HEB and definitely uh, highly populated, highly shopped, right? So that's very cool. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea that Waxahachie can hold its own in terms of shopping, but it's not gonna have that giant shopping mall experience. For that, you're gonna have to, you know, go on in like to Arlington. Really, if you want mall shopping, you know, big malls or anything like that, you're gonna have to drive a bit to get there. But again, Waxahachie can hold its own in terms of the smaller shopping, retail strips, that sort of thing, grocery store, Walmart, um, yeah. And in fact, honestly, a lot of these towns in here that don't have any of those things right in here all come down to Waxahachie. And you will see, you know, here some of the locals will talk about traffic and that they don't like traffic. And that is because these towns in here see if I can scroll in a little bit. Right along in here, you have Red Oak and Ovilla, which are definitely more bedroom communities and they don't have the shopping that Waxahachie has. Ah, here we are. So you have Red Oak here, Oakleaf, Ovilla, 
Glen Heights, and they all tend to come down to Waxahachie. So yeah, you'll hear the locals kind of like, ah, traffic is a problem. Uh, but you know, speaking of traffic, you know, it does have, Waxahachie does have I-35 going through it. It has Ferris Avenue 77 come in right through here. 35 goes around and then there is 287. So it has decent highway access. And I think for the population alone, it'd probably be okay. But again, a lot of these bedroom communities are coming to Waxahachie to go shopping all in here. Um, even, even honestly, it has more shopping than Midlothian. So you probably get people coming to Waxahachie from Midlothian as well. Midlothian is exploding in growth but it doesn't have the jobs and it does not have the shopping that Waxahachie has. Um, so anyway, that kind of gives you an idea there of what it is like. All right, let's see, what else do I need to tell you about? Well, let's take a look at hospitals. Right here, you have Baylor, Scott, and White, and you have the Complete Health Medical Center here. So you definitely have your hospitals. And again, these places are going to bring jobs, right? They're gonna meet medical needs as well as bring jobs. So the Complete Health Medical Center there, and then you have Baylor, Scott, and White. And this is ma massive, very, very large. Uh, offering a lot of jobs here. So you have two hospitals there offering lots of jobs plus meeting your medical needs. So again, just kind of showing that Waxahachie is self-sustaining and I really like that. All right, how about colleges? Okay, let's take a look at colleges. Right here you have the Southwestern Assemblies of God University. Okay, not huge by any means. And then you have the Navarro College at Waxahachie. Okay, so Navarro College is known for its medical. It has a lot of medical offering here. It's a community college, um, but for example, it has occupational therapy, nursing, and that sort of thing. So a big presence there. So, and again, when we talked about that home ownership rate, these are not enough to support the low home ownership rate. So that really does tell you that there's a, a high uh, amount of investment property in Waxahachie in terms of rentals and stuff. Because Navarro is, is a community college, so um, it may have high enrollment, but it's not going to have high on campus, probably, you know, like lodging and that sort of thing to support that low home ownership rate. So anyway, that gives you an idea of the colleges. Talked a little bit about jobs. So tell you what, I want to talk to you about housing. because There's some really interesting things going on with housing in Waxahachie. So let me open up that slide here. Okay, so the median sales price in the past 90 days, 360,000. Uh, the median price per square foot in the past 90 days, $169 a square foot. Luxury and affluent areas. You've got some really nice areas of, you know, in Waxahachie, along the North Waxahachie North Grove subdivision. So, so let's kind of take a look at that right in here. Okay, so right along in here, you've got your North Grove Boulevard right in there. Uh, and let's let's take a look here at ah, new construction. This is where it gets exciting, folks. I think you are just gonna be blown away by how much new construction there is, okay? So are you ready to see this? Because I'll tell you what, in Waxahachie, you have not just you know new construction, which you have in spades, but you also have new construction with acreage, and that's just that's not a super easy thing to get. Okay, so first of all, let me show you some new construction. Yeah, those are all. See how many of that? Are you just blown away by all that? That is how much new construction there is. So let's kind of go in on that. Check that out. How much new construction there is. Those are all individual communities with new construction. Okay, so you have the arbors, you have the oasis. Um, Haven Phase 2, Estates at North Grove, and these are all brand spanking new, Garden Valley Farms, Sunrise at Garden Valley, the Springside Estates, okay, so and then over here, Buffalo Ridge, these are all just beautiful, beautiful areas, Blue Bonnet Trails, these are all new construction and kind of what you would expect with typical new construction, meaning they have these smaller lots, right, um, and, and, and which, speaking of which, really in Midlothian, Man, that is pretty much exploding over here with the new construction and much less in terms of any acreage. Midlothian is very heavy on this type of new construction. But now this is the part that is exciting. Let me show you this. Let's see here now. 
Ah, these are all new subdivisions that are offering an acre size lot or more. So isn't that exciting to see how many opportunities there are in Waxahachie to buy a home with acreage. So over here we have Country Meadows and those are offering one acre lots and we have, um, we sold some very happy buyers, got saw some very happy buyers get settled into Country Meadows this year. Um, and let's see over here we have Oak Creek Ranch. Horseshoe Meadows, Cross Fence at Oak Vista, and Thunder Ridge. So all of these you can get one acre lots. Now, in case you're trying to quickly and furiously write down all of these subdivisions, you don't have to because in the description section, we have a new construction guide where you can get information on all of these, right? So you don't have to write them down. In fact, just go on down to that description section, look for our new construction guide. Not all of them are listed there, but we've got a good amount. And then if you reach out to us, we can definitely get you set up. So lots of new construction in Waxahachie. And in fact, Waxahachie had more closed and active and closed listings uh, in the past 90 days than Midlothian. And that's pretty astonishing because Midlothian is growing at a 6% rate higher than Waxahachie, and yet Waxahachie just has so much new construction everywhere. Okay, so hope that this was helpful. New construction, I think, is just really exciting. I think it meets such a need for the community, you know, this dallas Fort Worth area that is just growing so fast. Um, so it's exciting to see. But anyway, so that gives you a little flavor of Waxahachie exploding in growth again. And right here near Midlothian, all of these are more bedroom communities. These are older. Uh, Red Oak has some new housing, but not nearly what you're going to see here in Waxahachie. So anyway, hope that was helpful. If it was, best thing you can do is go ahead and head on over to my YouTube channel and check out a few more videos, all right? Uh, but in the meantime, listen, thank you so much for watching. Oh, and listen, I can't go without telling you this. If you're looking to find a new home in Dallas, definitely want to reach out to us, especially if you like the idea of our family helping yours. Anyway. Thank you again so much for watching and listen. We'll see you in the next one.